like every day. never thought it would be. <laughs> okay. So here, whenever we make it, we make it medium rare. Okay. So that when we put it on the grill, it finishes cooking and it gives that like part of the flavor, you know? Okay. The tortilla here. Yeah. Uh, we put some shredded mozzarella cheese in it. We cannot like change the way the ingredients are uh, putting together, so we start everything like meat, onion. Ah, right. Then you saw how I put the tortilla on the grill, and yep. then we put the cheese here. The, the, the cheese, like the, layer, the layering of ingredients yes. is, is special here, right? So whenever you take a bite of the burrito, the cheese will be melted. That's awesome. Okay. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. And a bunch of avocado. Okay, awesome. If it's a small avocado, probably one per burrito. Okay. So yeah, we put a whole avocado. Yeah, we make sure we put thick slices in it. You can feel it whenever you bite. When you take a bite. Okay. Because they had mozzarella cheese and mayo. Do you see it has okay. a, just a little bit touch of mayo? Yeah. So this is what gives it the flavor, and that's the difference it makes from other burritos. Okay. So. So now to wrap it up. All the ingredients are set up. Yeah, we go now and wrap it up. Uh, That's pretty huge. I know, right? <laughs> it is huge. All right. Okay, now comes the bacon. Yes, now comes the bacon. I would say we use like probably five to six slices per burrito. Yeah, like that. There. So you fully coated in bacon. It's fully coated in bacon, of course. <laughs> It's so delicious. He would love it whenever you try yes. it. Okay, so this is the product almost done. Okay, wait, wait, and then wait, right wait. now we put it in the grill. So whenever you take a bite of the burrito, it will be crispy. You get all the goods inside the cheese, the steak, the mozzarella. The, so you cook it until the bacon is fully like, crispy oh, and yeah, you can caramelized and brown. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, the bacon wrapped know, right? pecheron. <laughs> Absolutely it's really amazing. It's that's at least a foot long. Yeah. A foot long in these massive tortillas straight from Mexico. Carne asada goes in on that hot plate. He adds on, actually the touch that I really like is he adds on a half of like actually like a whole avocado, right? Into yeah. it. So that's gonna melt into the burro with that bacon. And so the final step is he just like completely just plasters it in bacon on the hot griddle and just gonna wait for all of that to sizzle all the way through on every side until it's caramelized and crispy and encased, fully burrito encased, bacon encased. Oh man. My first time ever, yes, for nice. the bacon wrapped burrito. I'll never forget it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never thought it would be. So once the bacon starts to starts to like tighten up, do you see how the cheese is like wanting yeah. to come out bulging. and like everything? It's bold, but the but the bacon is sort of like yeah, holding it in, yeah. holding it together. Yeah. See that cheese? Yes. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. This one's ready. Oh man. It is huge. It literally is a it's a foot long and it's like literally held together by the bacon. It's held together by the bacon. <laughs> it's exploding and bulging with cheese and melted ingredients. And the bacon is literally wrapped and like ribs, like ribs holding it together. Okay, you're gonna do one more? Yes. 
We're gonna do the mixed burrito, which is one of the popular ones too. Okay, and what does that include? So we start with uh, grilled onions, the pastor meat. Pastor. Uh, Marinated pork. Oh, so pastor and carne asada. Pastor and carne asada, yeah. Nice. So this is what basically gives the flavor to the meat. Oh man, the aroma that's coming off of that is insane. <laughs> Absolutely awesome, man. Good job. Oh, thanks for me. Thank you. Nice. Now let's go try it. It's heavy. <laughs> It is massive, but typically they would slice it in half so it's easier to eat, but we thought it would, I mean, when there's something this big in front of you wrapped in bacon, I wanted to pick up the entire thing with two hands and bite it. All the juices, it's amazingly stable and sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos, listo. Let's do this, man. <laughs> Ready? It smells so good, too, that bacon. All right, Carlos. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that is insane. There's so much going on, but everything is working together. Okay, you immediately taste the bacon, but I also immediately taste the creaminess of the melted avocado yep, you can and the melted cheese. Yep. Yeah. Such, such a filling, such a complete burro right here. The bacon is not overpowering, but it's there and it's flavoring and it's like crispy. And all just like the melted ingredients on the inside. If you choose not to cut it, you you don't have a choice to set it down. You have to keep holding it or you have to like lean it, wedge it onto your plate because we need to do a little bit of seasoning for the next bite. A little, uh, need to have a sprinkle of lime, lime. And that tortilla is amazing too. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Sauce. Yes. Yeah, the Good. creaminess of it, the creaminess of it, and then that like little smoky chili flavor to a chipotle to it, and also with the squeeze of lime, perfect. Counterbalancing the richness of all the meats. <laughs> it's like a baton. No, this one is carne asada, and this one is, okay, so this one is pork, mix of pork, adobada, it's adobada, adobada, and then also um, carne asada as well, with everything. Well, Carlos is, Exploding. <laughs> it really is truly amazing. Okay, I'm gonna season at the top. I'll try that red chipotle. Fatter than that yeah, one. That one's fatter. <laughs> this one's fatter. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Mm. Mm. 
，好像，那好的边上。哇、wow. ，the mix of adobada, the mix, mixed burrito is amazing too. Guys, we've got the two different textures of meat, plus the the flavor, the marinade of that adobada. I think what's amazing is that that avocado is also one of the key ingredients that makes it. The creaminess of it being melted within the burrito as it cooks, as it sears on the hot plate. This may be a failed move, but I'm going to try to break it. Oh, you got to. The key is you have to break it in between slices of bacon. That way, it breaks off nicely, nice and even. Oh yeah, look at the inside of that. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh no. <laughs> 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 